Hey y'all, Cake here. I'm actually going to be starting a new map. There is so much great new stuff. I can't be angry about the 1.8 slash 1.9 pre-release patches, but they did break a lot of my old inventions and I just I want to get a fresh start. I want to make new, more amazing things with the things I've learned. I've heard the new mushroom biomes are pretty cool, and snow biomes are back in, which I was waiting for before I created a new world. So I'm gonna use seed number four, which I've heard there's a mushroom biome right across the water. I'm gonna do testing, I'm gonna do building, gonna have a lot of fun. Back to the basics. Why are you here, sheep? Why are you here? I wandered up. I wandered in the middle of a sheep convention. Wow. This swamps are look a lot better. There's some uh, leaf air still, but this is a pre-release. And honestly, even if it wasn't, that's not a big problem. Gives it a little bit of character. I'm looking forward to the mushroom biome though. One of the things I'm going to test is I'm going to plant some trees there and see what they look like. I would be really happy if they looked all mushroomy. So I definitely need some wood, some saplings. If I get a chance running past I'll grab some seeds. And I need wool to make a bed. I'm going to work on the wool now. I do most of the basic first day stuff. I don't worry too much about shelter till I have something worth sheltering. But with the intro of beds, if you're really quick when the sun is setting, when if you're really quick when the sun is setting, you can rest even if you're outside and we'll just go straight today. One of the reasons I'm not too worried though is I need bone meal for trees if I'm going to be in a mushroom biome. At least until I, I get a pretty respectable tree farm going. And you might see me just abusing these uh, wood tools. That's because they're probably going to get replaced before they break. Even though they're going to break in five seconds. <laughs> uh. Lily pads. Lily pads. Further useless. But it's nice to know there's a swamp biome here for when you can use them for something. I know I'm going to mostly want to just eat mushroom soup. Being in a mushroom biome. But if I could just get one seed to drop, I'd like the option, you know? Well, same reason I grabbed... Look at the piggies now, it's so cute. Same reason I grabbed... The reed, because, hey, maybe I want bookcases for decoration. Maybe I'll want to make a map soon. I've never actually made a map. Didn't really strike me as uh, super useful, but that's just because there was a giant obsidian tower in the middle of everything. So, uh, <laughs> it's kind of hard to beat that, you know? Right now I'm just gathering up enough wooden saplings to get things going over there. When they said across the water, I'm not sure exactly which direction. But uh, exploring is fun, guys. Work smart, not hard. That's what they say anyways. <laughs> 
Sheep, stop it. I'm gonna kill you. Off to adventure, ho ho. Guy actually saw my avatar in one of the servers I go on. I don't serve her much, but I serve her once in a while. And looked at me, and he was dressed as a Power Ranger. And just all caps. What are you? To which I exp Oh, mushroom biome! I explained, but I really shouldn't have. It would have been better. Resources regathered. First person mode activated, and there is sand here. Mm. There's spores coming off this. That's pretty cool. I'm not seeing any stone. I might have to make a little mini mine. Do I have any dirt? I need some dirt. I want to test something. I want to test it in this highly controlled outdoors mushroomy setting. I want to see if it spreads at all. I'm gonna test one, two, away, and see if it spreads like gla grass and it'll jump. That'll be a good test. If I remember which part of the biome it's in. <laughs> I want something with a good view. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are cows. So that's beef and mushrooms. And I heard something somewhere. Something wonderful and magical that is just too amusing to be true. Gonna make some bowls. And you're about to hear me laugh my ass off, off if this really works. Mushrooms. I could never punch you. I could never punch you. You're not like the sheep. Because you give me mushroom stew! Holy hell. It actually worked, but it's bugged because I lost all my bowls. <laughs> Alright, um... No, I like these guys. I don't even need to punch down mushrooms. I can leave these intact. Just enjoy them. Enjoy this wonderful new world. Wait, what do I want to build? I want to build something and I want to have stone and crazy stuff everywhere. See, I'm tempted not to revamp my mushroom drop system with these soup-given cows here of glory, but, uh... I'm moving to a snow biome eventually. I like stuff you can do with the ice. With moving items. So, I'm... I definitely want to get there. Plus, then I can make snowmen, like, on demand, apparently. That'll move and attack my enemies, and I've thought of some actual uses for them, even though they don't injure things. Just in terms of things... Like, well, you guys know me. Weird mechanical stuff that people wouldn't think of. I found my home. This has a good view. This feels really alien. Like, usually in Minecraft it's all... happy and fuzzy and like, this is like your world except the skeletons spawn. But in here it's like... it doesn't feel like Earth. It feels like some strange, strange place. I don't know what kind of walls I want, but hopefully I don't need them yet, and I'm going to have the resources really shortly to make glass panes if I do, which is definitely going to be my view and material of choice.
Do, do, do. Hopefully this shroom is thick enough that it lets me set my spawn here. I noticed it kicks you off to the side sometimes. Uh, no skeletons, please. Thank you. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I want to plant mushrooms on top of this mushroom for decoration. So now that I have a food supply and my new friends, friends forever. There's a couple things what need doing. Can I plant trees here? No, I cannot. Do I have dirt? No. I got dirt from punching this a second ago, though, so I'm not too worried about that. What happens if I plant this here? And then... Oh, ho, ho, ho! That was interesting. It definitely spreads. I need to remember I can sprint. Ooh, this is a cave. I'm going down in that cave getting some stone. The clay is a bounty of clay. That's not for gathering right now. But I think I will make a nice brick house. Yeah, probably needs a direct bridge. We'll see. Once I'm back from this cave, we'll know for sure. I'm not uh, super crazy though. I do want to make a chest right next to my spawn. And that kind of turns things into, uh, I don't know, like a save point I want to say? <laughs> Dear. Ah oh, well. Here we go, their decorations. Let's pretend I meant to do that. Some nice glowy mushroomy light going on here. Oh yeah. I I need to lighten this place up somehow. I'm not sure how. Maybe if I uh were to make something beautiful from my home crafted with my own two hands and obviously in character I painted this oh so nice this is a house now uh, if I spent ten minutes just effing around talking too much I'd feel bad I'm definitely gonna use a fast forward if I get um too silly a little silly is fine, but I don't wanna don't wanna get too silly. My magical cow friends Where are you? I'm going on an expedition. I need your help. Gimme those udders. Oh yeah. What no, this is perfectly normal. A robot faced man and uh the mushroom cows. Let me milk you. Well, how do you mush? What's the word for mushroom milk? Is there a word for mushroom milk? Well, I guess you could take the first letter of milk, and then the le last letter is mushrooms, and uh, milkshroom them. No. No, that doesn't work. Uh, I'm being extra spazzy today, guys. No worries. I'll pause it for a second. I'm going to get something to drink. I forgot to rehead F9. <laughs> oh, delicious beverage. Nom, 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 nom. As the camera swings wildly, as I'm leaning over to the table. Dudes. You're cows, but you're not. You can't moo. You must not moo. 
Make another noise that starts with an M and ends with Shroom. And they'd be like Pokemon though, they'd say their names 50 times in a row and I would start to hate them. Must be OCD. Must arrange things meticulously. Hey guys, I had a little cut there because time was a wasting. Old style caverns. The generation is a lot better, but a little bit boring sometimes. Watching a guy mining around, no mob showing up yet. So since I just cut in, <laughs> what I'm doing now is I'm setting this up so I can get a real pick. We're going to keep traveling downwards, and by the end of this episode, I should have diamond, no problem. Maybe even some redstone, which is important. I'm going to do that. <laughs> So hey guys, finally on to a little bit of excitement. I have been... oops. I have been mining. And the reason for the odd mining pattern is... about every... five squares. I punch a one wide hole in, I do this this two by one corridor, and that exposes the maximum number of squares per uh, like amount of time. And stuff like this is from when I run into blocks. I finally, finally found some mobs though. I've been playing this and like, <clears throat> I know that for the first maybe 10 minutes, it was because I accidentally had it on peaceful. <clears throat> and I turned it on to hard, like I always do. Hell, the only reason it was on peaceful is I was in testing mode and skeletons started to annoy me because they were chasing me. But it took forever. And now there's just all these spider noises. And danger, and it'll be fun. I'm looking forward. Alright, I popped back up quick to grab that wood like I was talking about. Check the testing area. This has some useful applications if you decide to live in a mushroom biome. Namely, and uh... This will take a sec because I have to swim and run over there. It's very hard to plant trees here. If you see here, I've started... started that base and I just put four dirt blocks in the edges, made it nice and square up there, and plant the trees, because that's far enough away from the, uh, I believe it's called Masillum, the weird mushroomy ground, that the trees don't end up popping out when it spreads. I like how the trees look here, by the way. And I need to put some things away, I believe. Now that that's sorted though, I'll be able to knock these corner blocks out because using that knowledge we can build a tree farm down there. And that'll get rid of one of the major disadvantages that I've seen at least from building in mushroom territory. <laughs> I like the beds. Make it easier to see. Get around. I just, I haven't run into any mobs until I saw those spiders down there. It's really weird. I wonder if I maybe need to run away, come back. I'm not sure how I feel about the new shift click, getting such big stacks. But you can do things like, I just put three there. I'm gonna get three. Whatever, you know?
I know some people were kind of irate about it. It's too powerful. Why did you do that? Oop, there's some gravel in there. You don't belong in there, gravel. Alright. Not sure aesthetically how I want to do this. In the olden days, I would have stacked furnaces here and here. Had another chest in the middle. And then put another furnace in the top in the middle. I'm not sure how that would look with them opening. Oh, and just for those who haven't um, had a lot of experience tricking Minecraft into doing things. New people are so spoiled with their fence posts stacking automatically. Ho oh, oh. ho. No, I'm not going to be like that. I'm an old Minecraft user, but that means I've been playing it less than a year, even. I just know some of the old stuff. I'm so looking forward to getting my boom mining going. Well, my boom mining. I like boom mining better. I think I almost have enough resources to get on that too. I'm going to clear out that cave though and hopefully have some dangerous explosive fun for you guys. I also want to come back to enough wood to get things going. So I'm going to build a tree farm in the middle of Mushroom Town. Oh yeah. That'll do it. Uh, cobble for where we can't see. Alright, I might uh, wrap up this video and do a tutorial on tree farms in Mushroom Town. And then we will be back. And I will be taking on that epic cave. It sounded almost like there might be a a dungeon in there. Which isn't as big a, a deal now, but it's still pretty cool. I'll be back, guys.